Salutations, boys and girls. We're going to read another book today about springtime animals. In the spring, when the weather gets warmer like it is right now, a lot of little baby animals are born out in the world. The book we're going to do a book walk with is about a baby duck. Now, the last two videos that we did had little quack in it. Remember her? Little duckling or baby duck. This is a book about baby ducklings, but it's not a pretend story. It's not fiction. It's nonfiction. Say nonfiction. Good. That means it's about the real world and it has facts in it, things that are true. This book is called How Ducklings Grow. And on the front cover, I see a photograph of a real little baby duckling. Do you see? Oh, so cute, right? Do you know how baby ducklings are born and how they grow? Well, let's find out together, okay? How do ducklings grow? This book tells me that it is spring and Mommy Duck is looking for a nice, safe place to lay her eggs. That's right. Mommy ducks lay eggs. There's a big white Mommy Duck. Finally, she finds a place that she thinks is nice and safe. This duckling found a nest in some grass. She uses her feathers, grass, and dry leaves to make a little nest. And then she sits down. Do you see her? She's getting ready to lay her eggs. It says she has to sit for a long time. And finally, if she lays her eggs and she keeps them warm with her body, see how she sits on them very softly to keep them warm? What's going to happen to the mommy duck eggs? Do you know? I don't know. Let's see. Look, here's a picture of the eggs that were sitting under mommy duck. Look at them. There's a lot of big white eggs inside. Baby ducks are growing. They grow and they grow and they grow. And when they're ready to be born or to hatch, they start pecking at the inside of that egg with their little, little big, their little bill. Do you see that hole right there? There's a baby duckling in there, guys. And it's starting to come out. That's how baby ducks come out of their eggs. Oh my, look at this photograph. You can see, you can see the little, <laughs> he's pecking and pecking at the egg, cracking it so that he can get out. It says on the end of his bill, there's a teeny tiny tooth. A tooth? It's called an egg tooth. Do you see it? It's a little pointy part right there. And that pointy part or that tooth helps him get out of the egg. Ah, how smart is that? All right, now here's my question. What is that baby duckling going to look like when they come out of the egg? Are they going to look like Little Quack? Little Quack was fluffy and yellow, remember that? Let's see. When the baby duckling comes out of the egg, look. Its feathers are kind of wet. Its eyes are closed. Look, isn't he cute? It's a brand new baby duckling that just has been born. Oh, that took a lot of work to get out of that egg, didn't it? Using that little tooth on his bill. Oh, so cute. Well, after a while, it says their feathers start to dry off. And they get a little fluffier and fluffier. That little duckling sort of looks like a little quack now, right? Their feathers are fluffy and soft now. Their fluffy feathers are called down. After that, the ducklings can see. And they can walk now. Look at their webbed feet. Do you see it down here? They're dry. They can see. They can walk. They're ready to go explore the world. 
Look, they look around for their mommy. This duckling has just been born and he's looking around for his mommy. Whoever he sees first, he thinks is ma. If they came out of their eggs, my friends, and they saw a person first, guess who the baby ducklings think is their mommy? A person. Yes, that's called imprinting. When the baby duckling comes out, the eyes are all closed, but they open. Whoever they see first, they think is mommy. That's a good thing. Most baby ducklings see their mommy when they wake up. There's a mommy and there's all her baby ducklings. And just like in the story, a pretend story of Little Quack, the ducklings have to jump into the pond. And it says they already know how to swim. It says nobody has to teach them. It's instinctual. That means it's in their mind and in their brain already. Interesting. Okay. It says ducklings are born knowing everything they need to know to stay alive. They know how to run, how to find food, and to swim. Wow, that's awesome. Their special webbed feet help them swim. They have webbed feet, my friends, sort of like little paddles in the water. Look at that. That's a duckling's foot. Wow, that's amazing. It says the ducklings line up behind their mommy and off they go to look for food. So sweet, so cute. The ducklings sometimes have trouble finding food when they're young. Sometimes it says they eat snails and even insects, but they keep looking. They look for food, they look for seeds. They start to grow. They get oil on their feathers. Oil? It says the oil does not mix with the water and that protects their feathers. Do you see that baby duckling right there? They've got oil and they're spreading it all on their little down feathers. Eventually the ducklings get bigger and bigger and something happened here, friends. Look very closely. What color are the baby ducklings now? Can you tell? Are they still yellow? Or have they changed their color? Well, they have. Look, these ducklings changed color when they got bigger. Now they're almost all grown up and their feathers are not yellow anymore. They're white. Wow. This duck is flapping his wings and lifting up in the air. And when she gets to be a big, tall, grown mommy duck, guess what she's going to do one day? She'll look for a nest, too, to lay her little eggs. Oh, just like her mommy did. What a sweet little book, a little nonfiction book. That means it tells us things that are real and true. Those are called facts. Things about our world. How Ducklings Grow by Diane Molson. And these gorgeous photographs were taken by Dwight Kun. I like that book. I hope you enjoyed it, my friends. Happy spring!